And Danita, it has some researchers at Case calling for change. They believe local internet service providers have the resources to help with what they call a growing health disparity. Internet service providers have digitally redlined neighborhoods. Dr. Amy Schoen, director of the Urban Health Institute at Case School of Medicine, outlining the sobering data showing a direct correlation between a lack of internet service and major health problems in Northeast Ohio's predominantly African-American neighborhoods. How are you going to climb out of poverty if you don't have the internet? That is something we should be ashamed of. Schoen says without the internet, you can't look up doctors, symptoms, or access key health information on platforms like MyChart. Schoen says it's discriminatory for internet providers to continue to ignore these distressed neighborhoods shown in this digital map in gray, which she called the Cleveland Crescent. Cleveland is the third worst connected large city in the country and something like 40% of people living in Cleveland have no internet at all. In those distressed neighborhoods, uh, they don't have uh, the opportunity to use the internet as a tool um, uh, in order to uh, improve their own health. Dr. Scott Frank, Director of Public Health Initiatives at Case, showed us the data maps compiled by Health Data Matters. The direct correlation of no internet service in gray to high blood pressure marked in red, and no internet service to high instances of diabetes marked here in gold. Frank believes internet providers have the resources to repair this growing health disparity. I believe that corporations can uh, entirely afford to uh, invest in these neighborhoods. And with critical health issues and even lower life expectancy now connected to a lack of internet service, Schoen is hoping an upcoming common community health assessment forged by local hospitals and government health agencies will foster change. Shame uh, is a word that comes to mind. I think we should all be ashamed to be in a place where we've got this incredible health care um, and, you know, people who might die 24 years uh, earlier than they have to. And this is such an issue. The Cleveland Foundation providing a half million dollar grant in providing hotspots that can be checked out at the local library for use by families in these distressed neighborhoods. Reporting live right here in Cleveland, I'm Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis.